Greg with Drifter Journey. Uh, we're here to do a review of the Mototow MTX Sport uh, motorcycle carrier. Uh, we have a link below for you to get a discount, uh, mototote.com. Uh, click on the link. Uh, you won't get the discount until you get to the checkout page and put in your email, but get that far and then the discount will show up in the cart. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a comment below and we can help you with that. Um, we're going to go ahead and show you how to take the bike on and off and tell you about some of the features of it. All right, so we're going to take one take at this and try to tell you about all the features on this bad boy. Um, so the first thing you'll notice, it's powder coated. Um, the engineers there did this cool design. Uh, they have the strength where it matters, making it stronger and lighter than some of the competitors. Um, also, Another key feature is got this little front wheel, wheel holder here. So when we put the bike in, it'll stay standing up on its own. Um, there's also these attachment points here for the uh, tie downs that are not included. Um, it does come with the loading ramp that's just held on with this little clip here. It slides off and then just inserts down in here. Super easy to put the bike on and off. Um, there's also some rear attachment points for the clips. Um, just another note here, we've had this on the back of our van for a little over two years now. Um, so obviously it's dirty. It's been on the road for probably over about 40,000 miles now. Um, it's been holding up quite well for us. Um, what else do we want to talk about on it? Uh, so we actually carry a TW200 motorcycle. Um, so as you can see over here, it's the TW200. I don't know if you guys know anything about them, but they have this monster back tire on them. Um, it's seven inches wide. So the reason we went with the Mototote MTX Sport is because it has the ability to hold up to a eight and a half inch rear tire. So our bike fits on there clear without having to run over the sides fits properly. Uh, this rack actually can hold up to a 600 pound bike also. Um, ours only comes in around 280, so not a big deal at all there. Um, and one other addition that we have on it is the LED light kit. Uh, retails for $100. Um, they get it, I think it's $73 if you order it with your rack. So we just put that on recently, we love it. Um, we were using the cheap Harbor Freight option before that was just kind of zip tied down. So we had to take it on and off every time it was a pain in the butt. Um, so this new one, it's actually got this nice braided line with the four pin attachment. Uh, it's really nice, it's gonna last for a long time. So we're pretty excited about that. It's making things a lot better. And I think I covered most of it, but we'll pause and check my uh, little note list and come back if I forgot anything. So I did forget three things. Um, when you do get it, minimal tools to do the assembly. You can actually set it up to be a left or a right mount. So we have it coming on from the right, uh, but you could actually have it go the other way if for whatever reason your vehicle needs that. Um, we went right because it worked for how we, we'll show you, we got a swing out for it here in a second. We'll show you how that works. Uh, also, the rack is adjustable lengthwise for up to a 65 inch wheelbase. So we have it set here for our bike. This can be further back, uh, different sections. So it's adjustable to specific bikes and the back moves a little bit there. And I have one more thing that I'm forgetting and it is the anti-wobble attachment. So this comes with it. It's meant to hold it all in strong here so you're not wobbling while you're driving down the road. Um, on their website, it does say if the bike's wobbling for any reason, to reach out to them because it's probably installed wrong. They'll help you get that figured out. Um, so yeah, that's really it for the bike rack. It's been amazing, we love it. Um, this model retails for 540 currently. It can hold up to 600 pounds. Uh, the MTX M3 is the model that's meant for the next step down. We'll call it next step down, but it's really just lighter weight bikes. Um, I think that one was 450 and that can hold up to, hold on, let me look. Five hundred pounds. I was gonna say that. 
So $450 holds up to 500 pounds, uh, but the rear tire can only go up to six inches on that one. That's why ours didn't work. Um, so yeah, one last thing that has nothing to do with the rack whatsoever. Um, before I show you how I put the bike on, we do have this separate product back here. They don't sell it. It's Rack Attach by One Up. It's a separate company altogether. Uh, but for what we do, uh, we needed the ability to get into the back of the van because we live in here and we have all our storage in the back of the van. So there's a little pin and a clip. We're actually able to swing it out away from the van to be able to get into the back, which may or may not be locked right now, to access our storage. So um, that's a great additional feature. Um, check with the manufacturer for weight limitations and all that good stuff if you got a heavy bike, because this thing is not meant to carry a super heavy bike. Uh, we don't want anything falling off on the road on you. So always check with the manufacturer for any of their recommendations and uh, weight limitations so we are not held liable. Um, we'll go ahead and show you how we put the bike on, super easy, um, and then we'll uh, call, it a, call it a show. I'm gonna put the bike on for you guys here. Um, one thing that the rack doesn't come with is the tie down straps. Um, so we actually chose this kit from Rhino Straps. Uh, we'll have a link down below. I've had them for a couple years. They're holding up pretty good. A little bit of the sheathing's breaking off from metal on metal down here, but uh, they've done quite well. Uh, so yeah, we'll show you how we do it. Start with the straps on the handlebars. And just loop these guys through. Cinch them down. And uh, we've never really been motorcycle, dirt bike people, anything like that before this. So if I'm doing something wrong, leave it in the comments and let me know. But it hasn't fallen off yet like this. So we got that there. We take off our little loading ramp. I always tuck this down here just because it's kind of thin gauge just in case so it doesn't break. Pop it off and stick it on here as I showed you. And I always put these on ahead of time just so it's one less step once the bike's up there. Put that on facing the right way. We leave that one cinched down. Less work for me to do. Put this one this way. Get it ready. I'm actually gonna flip that because I want the handle facing out. All right, so those are ready. And then these back straps are just cheap ones. I don't even know where we got them. They're not as important. So then we take the old bike, find a good runway. All right, so once it's up and in there, you get it straight and in the right spot, it'll hold itself. Obviously, you wanna be careful with it. Strap the first one down, and I'm always keeping an eye on the bike just in case it decides to move. Uh, I just wanna get this one started. So it won't come undone. And now the bike won't tip off this way. It's always good to keep a hand on it just in case. Don't want it to tip off or into the van. And then I just take this one, I keep it cinched because I don't wanna have to do it every time. We'll just pull the bike down, get that clip there, and I come back over here and cinch this one down to get the front end nice and tight. Step back to make sure it looks straight on there. Um, so then I'll take this and wrap it up, and then we just have these little metal twist ties, so we'll wrap that up nice and out of the way like this one is. And then I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to take the bike back off in about two seconds because we don't actually need it on here right now. Uh, but these guys are just hooked right back here. 
and then I'll flex it down and clip it on. And then it's in there pretty snug. And that's how the bike goes on in less than a couple minutes by yourself. Um, if you do have something to help you, it makes life easier, but really not a big deal. That's it. I'm gonna pull it back off because I don't need it on there right now. So if you didn't see it the first time or you missed anything, just come and disconnect this guy. Set that down there and lean it into me here. Disconnect that. And I didn't reconnect the rear ones, so I don't have to undo those, but just roll it down off the ramp. And that's it. All right, so that is the review of the Moto Tote MTX Sport uh, motorcycle carrier. We've had it for a couple years. We absolutely love it. Um, click down below in the links for the discount on any of the Moto Tote uh, racks or accessories that you may need. Like I said, make sure you get to the checkout page, put your email in, then the discount will show up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, we'd be more than happy to help out if you have issues with that, or if you have any questions about the rack, do our best to help with that. Um, ooh, I'm at a point here, this is the first for us. You can subscribe here and click on another video here. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And also, once again, it was the Rhino Straps. We'll put that down in the link for Amazon affiliate link there for you. Um, if you buy anything from Amazon, click on that link. We'll get a small kickback. Thank you for watching. We are Drifter Journey.